Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today I've got something a bit new for you guys, it's a online game called Card Hunter. Now I've seen quite a bit of this online, a few channels have started playing it on YouTube, and also quite a few people have asked me to look into it, so I thought why not give it a go. Now all I know about it is that it is sort of, to use the term loosely, a dungeon crawling sort of strategy game. But we're going to get straight into it. I think it looks very cool, and I'm quite excited. And I'm going to be doing this series as long as, well, I'm enjoying it, really, so... We'll see. Welcome, Mark Games. Playing Card Hunter together is going to be awesome. I don't know why he's American. Let's do Green Fang's challenge. My old brother Melvin has been telling me how great it is. You can hear me, super swanky. Your party has survived the Undying Marshes, following the ancient map to the Gold Leaf Blade. The gold leaf blade. Now approach the blood-soaked altar of the Lizard Man Shrine. He suddenly turned English. They brace for a final assault. Right. How exciting! Uh oh. Cold-eyed lizard men pour forth to defend their temple, commanded by a skeletal apparition. How exciting is this? Play your cards to defeat your enemies. Okay, so we have three different uh, classes by the looks of things, and lots of different cards. Right click, or press spacebar on cards to see what they do. Alright. Sorcerous bolt, bolt. When you're ready, left click card to play it. Okay, select a target, so it's basically what you'd think. Okay, fairly good, and now I'm assuming that's his life there. Yeah, okay, play now travel. Teleport is possible to... yeah. Got it! I think I know how to play this game, it's pretty simple. When you hover over a card, the board shows all the squares you can reach with that card. Okay. So let's do... run. We'll run with this bloke here. And we'll go... here? I don't know. <laughs> Probably going to make a lot of mistakes in this, but it's fine. Okay. If you run out of cards you can pass, you'll draw new cards when we both pass. Okay, so we're actually playing against the guy, which is not what I was expecting at all, but that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to fireball this guy. We're going to take him out. So we've got four health left, so it sounds good. Okay. Taking a bit of damage there. Okay. To look at a card I played, open the battle log at the top left and click on the card's hyperlink name. Battle log. Okay. Fine. This is fine. I understand. So let's do... Let's do one of these. A reaching swing on him. Whoa. Blocks in your hand to defend you automatically if you roll high enough. Which we did. Wonderful. Borgo. <laughs> Epic name. Huh? Best name. Okay, so let's now do... Let's do this. Let's walk with this guy. And we're going to walk here. Okay, armor in your hand reduces damage automatically if you roll high enough. Which we obviously didn't. Lovely. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Let's chop this guy. There we go. So that's got rid of him. We sort of overkilled slightly, but it doesn't really matter. I'm not too bothered in the tutorial. Right, okay. So, fireball. Let's arc arcing spot him. Oh, and that's a chain. Wow, okay. Nice. I'm thinking I probably want... Can we do this on ourselves? May self-target. Okay, that's fine then. We're going to self-heal. For four. Lose a bit of health on that guy, but it doesn't matter. He's got tons of health. Right, and we're going to dash. And we're going to go over here. Okay, so I think that should mark the end of our turn. So let's pass. Going to take a bit of damage in the meantime. Maybe we should just... What does this do? Target character draws a card. Oh, okay then. We'll go for... We'll go for ourselves, shall we? Ah, there you go. Bludgeon. Wonderful. Right. Uh, let's do... Armour gets played automatically. Right, okay. So we have to pass this turn. And it's a new round. Okay, I'm getting to grips with it. I mean, obviously this is just a tutorial, so it doesn't really matter. As soon as we get into the main portion of the game, that'll probably be next episode, so... If you're not interested in this, then please do feel free to skip. Okay, so, trip. Clumsy bugger. 
Oh well, strong bash. How much health does this guy have? One. Probably don't need to use like any really strong spells. Probably gonna go with Force Bolt on this guy because he's only got one health left, which seems like a good idea. No need to overkill if you don't need to. Reliable, reliable mail obviously wasn't too reliable. So let's now go for. I mean, to be honest, it probably doesn't matter if we overkill slightly. Just because, you know, we got a bit of overkill on everything else. So. I mean, those those attacks are really strong. Maybe what, we, what we'll do is we'll run over here. I know he's not the biggest health character, but we're going to go with it. And we're going to do a massive attack on this guy. There we go. Oh, this guy's almost dead. I'm probably playing this a bit stupidly. What does this do? Teleport other... Move teleport. Yeah, okay. We could probably teleport this guy somewhere away from here. Maybe around there so he doesn't take any more damage. Seems like a good idea. And then we're probably going to walk over here. So we can go for the skeletal woman, which sounds like a good idea. Right, and then strong bash. We're actually out of range for that now, which is a bit silly of me. But we're going to dash down here. It's going to get out of the way. I mean, obviously the mage can do things at a distance, so it's fine. Okay, so really... Oh, I see, this is how you can see where your character can see, as it were. New round, let's get some new cards in here. Hopefully we'll get some range on the mage. Okay, in fact, we might as well just strong bash this guy, who cares. Right, okay, and then where's our range? Oh, we can spark. Just tank a bit of that damage with him. And there we go, Sorceress Bolt. Got it. Onward! I'm enjoying this. The bones of Zoo Z Tenth have returned to dust and the treasure is yours. Yay! Yay! Open the chest to claim your treasure. We <laughs> do. Okay, so we've got a legendary weapon, level 13, the Gold Leaf Blade. A legendary drop! Drag and drop the Gold Leaf Blade into the empty weapon slot on the character to the left. There we go. Okay, by equipping Glowed Live Blade, Borger has got some great new powers of cards in his deck. God, that is a lot of cards in the deck. Let's Whoa. go onwards. Oh no! As you lift your prize in celebration, a terrible rumbling shakes the temple. Of course it does. The stones themselves seem to cry out in terror as a caustic reek fills the air. Ambush. Green Fang is here! Not a Green Fang! Uh oh. Beware! Green Fang's acidic breath. Hang on, what? Beware, gr oh, beware Green Fang's acidic breath and use your new cards to avoid his armour cards. Dear God, I cannot read. We'll ignore that, though. It's good. Right, okay, so we just basically want to run towards him like a mad person at this point in time, I reckon. Oh, he's going to fly it. Okay, I did not sort of consider that as an option. What we're going to do is... Oh! Powerful spark. He's got 30 health. I mean, that's pretty... Oh, we can charge. Let's charge the uh, the tank over here a little bit. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, right, now what we can do is we can do a perfort... Per 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 perforating strike. Perforating. <laughs> okay, acid jet. We didn't get the armor save, but it's fine. Okay. Each square can only have one terrain attachment at a time. Currently standing in, in uh, acid, which is probably not a good thing. So let's go here. Dragon Claw. Did not block that at all. Now we probably want... What is this? Discard terrain attachments. Inspiration. Target character draws a card. Yeah, let's, let's do a penetrating blow on this guy. There you go. Bit of damage. Massive jaws. Oh, eight hit. Holy shit. Okay. We probably... Let's, let's use inspiration on him to draw a card. And unfortunately we got a really shit and unhelpful card. Draw a card, discard that card unless it's a attack card. Let's just try it. I mean, we might get something good. Oh, and we do actually, which is pretty useful indeed. So we're going to do a strong hack. Don't save. Oh, god damn it. Okay, we only reduced by two, so that's fine. Right, and then I'm feeling as if we should just try and beat this person down as quickly as we can. We should probably dash out of the way, actually. Maybe dash down here. Just to get out of that uh, that dot there. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to perforating strike, do the most amount of damage as we can. I reckon we've probably got this person. And then powerful spark. So it seems actually, as you can see at the top, he's run out of cards, which means that we're sort of left beating on him for a while, which is actually pretty useful. So I'm thinking we're going to greater heal our dwarf over here. Just to regain a bit more tank ability. And we're probably going to... We're going to pass. Get a few more card options. Okay, massive jaws. I'm glad I did that heal now. And what we're probably going to do is we're going to do our biggest attack, which will be... The chop. I mean, it's not the biggest, biggest, but it's the one that we can actually do. And he didn't block it at all, which is wonderful. Oh, he did. He's got a second. Damn. And we didn't block his dragon claw. Okay. Thinking we do a sorceress boot. Blocked and blocked again. Damn, this guy. Actually, that's quite useful because now I can do this. <laughs> uh, troll dragon. I oh, bloody blocking everything. How many blocking cards has he got? Acid jet. Okay, what is this? Boiling armor. Target character. I probably should have done that first. That would have been helpful. Let's do a cleansing burst, shall we? Let's do it here, because then it gets rid of all three of those. Not particularly helpful, but whatever. Oh, and he just redid it again. Okay, well, I think probably... What are these? Resistant hide? It'd probably still be a good thing to use the boiling armour thing on him, to be honest. Just get rid of those two block cards. And I think now... Should we teleport him? Let's teleport him here so our dwarf can hit him next turn. Okay, right, that's fine. So let's now pass, because I don't think he's got any cards left. So we should... Let's discard our walk. We should be able to take him on. Haven't got into the main storyline yet, which is fine. But I think we've pretty much got him right now. Yeah, we've got a strong hack, even if he used defense on these. It depends how many blocks he actually uses. But I think we've got him. Yeah, there we go. Damn, I'm enjoying this. Onward! Victory. With a terrible roar, Green Fang crashes into the temple floor. The Vividian Dragon's long reign of terror has ended. Woo, Woo, that was great. It was indeed. Aww. Very satisfying. Gary. What are you doing? Your kids can't play Green Fang's challenge with my party. Wrong. If you want to play with my card hunt sets, you have to start at level one. Aww. Yes, Melvin. I'm sorry, Melvin. Okay, so basically that was the tutorial done. We're now going to be starting into the main game. So let's go onwards. Aww. Sorry about that, Parker Games. My brother says we have to start again with some new characters. And now, let's see. Our tale begins in Card Huntria. <laughs> Brilliant name. In the musty, dusty Orc's Head Tavern. So there you go. An old man staggers through the door, blood streaming from his side. Uh -oh. Help! Monsters are attacking the village. Who will save us? Huh. Click the. Click a tab to choose a Dwarven, Human, or Elven Warrior, then recruit one. Okay. So let's have a little look at them. Okay, so Dwarven Warriors are stout and fierce, capable of hanging in a fight for a long time. However, they move more slowly than any other race. At high levels, they get access to cards that improve their durability. Human Warriors balance speed and toughness, get into a fight and sustain it. At high levels, they get access to cards that let them plan ahead and strategize. And Elves... Elves are the most mobile, but they're not as tough. High levels they get access to cards that give them more movement options. So basically fast, but sort of weak. A good sort of mid-range, and this one's just like epic tank. I don't want an elf warrior, that's just silly. What difference in cards do we have? I mean, they're the same. Let's go for a... Um, let's go for a well-rounded human warrior. Oh, we can randomise the names, wonderful. Um, let's go with people. Let's, let's go with me, I'm going to be the warrior. Parky. There we go. We'll get some of my other YouTuber friends' names on here as well. It'd be quite uh, entertaining if they die. Okay, Parky Hills hears a call to adventure, strides over to, from the bar and pledges to help the old man. Yay! It's time for your first adventure! Click exit to return to the map. Okay, I think this probably seems like a good place to end it. If you enjoyed the episode, then please feel free to leave your support in the comment section below. Also leave support in terms of ratings, because those help my channel grow, and also let me know whether you're enjoying the series. 
and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Awkward. Awkward. Goodbye. Awkward.